Hey everybody, this is Nemo, and in this quick tip, we'll see how to add a visual editor for the uh, category description in PrestaShop. So, here I am in the back office, I will click edit on the accessories category, and you can see it's just a normal text area. And as you might know, you can manually add, uh, for example, strong tag, and save, and if you go to the front office and to the accessories, you can see it's being added. But this is, uh, you know, uh, it's not so convenient if you have to type HTML all the time. So let's go ahead and edit it again. Now, uh, let's see how to add a visual editor. I will uh, go to my PrestaShop installation, controllers, admin, and let's look for admin categories controller. Here it is. Now, uh, I will look for this method uh, called render form, which is about uh, line 3 to 1 um, in my uh, version, which is 1.5.4.0, I think. And uh, I will look for a text area with the description. Here it is. So you can see it's about line uh, 414. And I will add auto load. RTE. Since this is an array, I will just add true, like this. I will save it, and for refresh, you can see it's been added. And of course, this way you can um, add italics, save, and you can see it's been applied. So really easy. But uh, by doing it this way, uh, the next Presa Shop update will definitely kill this change. So let's do it the proper way. I will go ahead and copy the whole um, method called render form. Control C to copy. Then I will go to uh, the Presta Shop installation override controllers admin and I will create a new PHP file. If you can't do this just uh, copy over one uh, of these ones, for example, you might only have index, and call it admin categories controller. Okay, open it up, and now you must uh, create a new class. So, class, uh, sorry, open PHP first. So, class admin categories controller extends admin categories controller core. Okay, and now simply paste the method. But um, as you might notice here, we are returning parent render form. And this way we're calling uh, back the original one. So we want to call admin controller directly. Okay, now uh, if I refresh, uh, I shouldn't be in, uh, let me just reset this back to its original state. Uh, I should see nothing, it should be back to the original. And this is because PrestaShop uh, caches classes and controllers. So now I will go to PrestaShop, folder um, cache, and I will simply delete the class index. Don't worry, this will be automatically, automatically regenerated. And there you are. So. Pretty much the same modification, but much more scalable. So uh, next time you update Presta Shop, you don't have to worry about it at all and redoing the whole process. Okay, uh, this is all for this quick tip. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure you check out uh, my Presta Shop add-ons web shop, as always. <laughs> Feel free to contact me if you have other questions at nemo at nemops.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.